Migration performance level is a fly setting that you can use to control the total number of migration processes that happen at the same time. To access this setting, log on to fly, and over on the left, go to management and general settings. In general settings, up at the top, click on performance, and here we can see the three different values for the migration performance level, normal, high, and best. High is always selected as the default, and for more information, you can hover over the information button here at the right. Essentially what you're doing when managing this setting is looking at the total number of resources that are available in your Fly hardware and making the appropriate choice. If you're not sure which you should go with, High works as long as your systems meet the minimum requirements as outlined in the Fly user guide. As the information button tells us, if your agent machine has at least 4 cores and 8 gigs of memory, then you can set it to best. Normal should only be selected if you have a machine that is below the performance levels recommended in the Fly user guide. Now exactly what does changing this setting do? Well, as I said earlier, this setting allows you to control the total number of migration processes that happen in the same time when running your migration plans. But how many processes exactly is that? Well, if we again go to the information button and click on learn more about available performance levels, it will take you directly over to the Fly user guide hosted on afpoint.com and you can see that the total number of processes is based on your migration source. So if I'm migrating from SharePoint, file systems, Google Drive, Box, and so on, all the way down the list. As a general rule, all of the Microsoft technologies are three processes for normal, five for high, seven for best. So that's going to include SharePoint, file systems, Exchange, Office 365 groups, and Microsoft Teams. Non-Microsoft systems those numbers are going to be a little bit lower based on communicating with those APIs and what the limits are set to. Now it's important to remember that what we're talking about here are your agent computers as part of your Fly migration. We are not talking about the machine where you are actually running Fly, the console where you come to set up your plans, make your connections, and so on. This is considered the manager console. The agents are your workhorses. The agents are the things that are actually performing the migrations. Is it possible to have a single machine serving as manager and agent? Absolutely, provided that machine has enough resources. In a larger migration, you may install the agent on separate machines to take advantage of having separate sets of resources that can all run separate plans or separate jobs even within the same plan. So really, the choice you make here comes down to what your Fly installation looks like and the resources available on those machines. Once again, out of the box, high is the choice. If your machines do have at least four cores and eight gigs of RAM, you can come in here and select best. Down at the bottom, click apply. And now your migration plans will run with the settings based on what we see over here in this list. Thank you for watching this short video on understanding and setting the migration performance level in Fly.